G'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gaming Game Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Ben Russell. I'm Ben Russell. We clap, Maggie. Oh. <laughs> that felt, that was bad energy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, we clap we on clap, the show. We clap, Maggie. <laughs> and Beck Petrotis. Clap, Maggie. <laughs> and Maggie Luke. And Evan. Oh. And Evan's teeth. Look at them. Oh, are they new? Oh. He's got a new one. Do you? Oh. you have a new tooth. Even a tooth. Yeah, he did. I went didn't. to the dentist and they fixed. I had a chip in my tooth. Little gold fixed. tooth. Oh. Like He's got a gold tooth. No, it's not gold seen? anymore. They use like tooth stuff. Oh, oh. Evan, please. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> oh, she's doing it. Yep. <laughs> You're ruining her birthday. Oh, she's, oh, is it a birthday Not show? Not the first time. But it is a birthday. Well, it's, 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 it's two years since we started the show. I'm just that's sure. why there's cupcakes and balloons. Oh. She's saving your teeth too, because. Oh yeah, that's bad for teeth. Sugar, yep. bad. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't know it was a birthday show. That's okay. I feel we like that's you. that feels. <laughs> <laughs> that feels right. Yeah, <clears throat> that's on brand. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Uh, this week we're going to take a look at uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled and my friend Pedro. Uh, but first, here's something you might have missed uh, amongst all the E3 excitement. The Resident Evil franchise is breaking out into the beauty industry. Professional makeup brand Meron have uh, brought out an officially licensed Resident Evil 2 makeup kit so you can look drop dead gorgeous on your next night out. <laughs> uh, that was Ow. no good. <laughs> Said that um, this is this makeup kit that this this company's come out with, so it's yeah it's, it's officially licensed from uh, from Capcom. I feel like zombies were so big for a while there. Everyone was remember zombie walks. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. that changed to slut, slut walks. Remember? Yeah. And I, for one, am glad. <laughs> 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 what happened Russell's to white knight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm brave. I prefer slot what a brave walk, man. Slot walks to what a brave man. What happened to the zombie shuffle? Uh, I, I think everyone just got over it. Did it just die so. out? Yeah. It was a phase, uh, Evan. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. good. That was good puns. It was, um, You're doing well. I remember Evan came along. My whole family went to a zombie shuffle once, and we were all, like, I, I was all zombie. Yeah, up. I went along to one. Yeah, yeah, but Evan was the only one that wasn't zombied up, but I felt like that was very... Like, that's a different type of zombie. <laughs> yeah, Evan doesn't need to dress no. up to be a zombie. <laughs> Maybe you were He's the one everyone was dead. chasing. Like, you know, oh. like you're, the, oh, you're yeah. the middle one. You're yeah. someone who's dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the, the body's still wondering. Got him. <laughs> going, oh, this isn't, this isn't uh, focusing. It's uh, the drifting. You know, I use Adobe Premiere, <laughs> but I also use After Effects. I got a new console that tells you the the sound waves, and you can measure the sound on this and make sure that it's fine for TV. And and he also that. that makes everyone else zombies by doing that. Yeah. that's quite impressive. Yeah. Like you don't need to bite anyone; no. you just need to explain the you difference just... between different <laughs> Oculus. <pieces. laughs> it's just Oculus Rift. <laughs> Oculus Rift is different than Oculus Quest because Oculus Rift is an external sensor. Oculus Rift doesn't have those things, but Oculus Quest is one of those things, but it's cheaper. What yeah. is the difference between Oculus oh! I actually would like to get a, a Rift S. I do actually think we should separate the desk into, and this even... can be the girl side and we don't have to pay attention. No idea what's um, going on. <laughs> what do you think about this, uh, Margaret? Yes. Yeah. I think it'd be very good for Comic Con. Oh, yeah. Mm. Would you use it? Because you love Comic Con, you love comics, mm. um. <laughs> you love pop culture, and uh, you love horror movies especially. Yeah. All of these things. Um, I think it's interesting because I'm looking at here. Um, I, I, for all of you at home who don't know this, I did a diploma in cosmetics in 2004 when I left school. Mm. Ah. And I have noted something here. You can bring it up as an overlay. Um, mm. They've got a color corrector wheel, which is the opposite of what you usually get in store. So say you've got um, dark purple under your eyes, mm. um, you would buy a color corrector wheel which have an, have an orangey tone, so you put them on to even it out. Yeah. <laughs> going that was very funny. Sansa just tried to eat some cupcake oh, oh, no. off the ground. Oh, well, no, it's chocolate as well. Chocolate isn't good for that. Well, we'll deal with that at some point. Do you want to 
<laughs> Thank you. Clean up on R5. <laughs> R5 is us. But here they've got the opposite colour corrector wheel. Uh-huh. So to create bruises. Ah. Yeah, so they've got all this stuff. So, But then you can ev- you can have a big night as a zombie and then take your actual cor- colour corrector wheel out and even shit up. I'm actually kind of worried that the that we're getting a bit of credibility by you having a degree and then coming on to talk about something. Yeah, you're qualified this to is, talk about this. This is cosmetics. What, what is... What's spirit gum? Spirit gum is, is a it sticky. It's yeah. gum that died <laughs> and come back. <laughs> now it walks. Yeah. Ah! It's got unfi- It's gum with unfinished business. Isn't it, <laughs> isn't it just sticky, like adhesive? Yeah, it's like adhesive that's okay for the skin, and then it's like put, to put on these bits. Um, like the prosthetic, prosthetic latex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and then you have to take it off with a like a special unadhesive. It's kind of like a latex style glue. Yeah, right. It's pretty. It's pretty. Pretty brutal. Like it holds it on. There's a dog that it wants to wants to die. <laughs> Sad a dog. Yeah. She wants to. She's committing suicide. <laughs> eating chocolate. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd try this. This is cool. Yeah, you'd try it, would you? Yeah. Would you? The man who never dresses up for anything on any occasion. How do you I, know that? No, you're right. What have you been to a black knows. tie? Because I listen. You listen? <laughs> I'm always listening. To Beck, is that right? I listen to Beck and I listen to the trees. <laughs> what do they say? They say, Evan never dresses up. <laughs> yeah, I don't really dress up for stuff. I'm a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I did once manage to put a, a hat on him. Oh, that's fun. That was exciting. But this is like next level. This is like proper dressing up. Exactly. That's why American. you would never, it's even further yeah. from what you would do. I feel like you wouldn't like it on your face. Like oh, you... yeah, no. It'd be really uncomfortable. Right? I feel like formal attire for you is... You put on like a jacket, like a like a puffer jacket, <laughs> instead of a hoodie. I used like, to wear I'm ready it. for a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, when we started this show, R&B I, I used wedding. to wear a blazer on this show. Really? Yeah, I used to wear blazers. I remember that. Yeah, it used to be much more formal. Mm. Why? What yeah. happened? Ben Russell. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you came along, and we just stopped trying. I guess. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Story of my relationship. What? Oh. <laughs> hey. Um, this is this is a hundred US dollars. I feel like that's a pretty good price. Like cosmetics can be pretty expensive. What's the men's makeup they're doing now? It's called what? like Hunter. War paint. War paint. Yeah, and it comes in a grenade. Oh, I love that. I'd buy that. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> I want something more hardcore. I want to shoot the makeup onto my face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I, the Simpsons. Yeah, I want a makeup gun. My masculinity is so fragile that I need. Uh, uh, like makeup in, you know, weapons that mm. are meant to mm. kill. Otherwise, yeah. I will just break down and I'll shit myself. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. do you need a doctor? No, no, I need a, I mean, unless that doctor is a registered psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are doctors, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, sign well, me up. Okay. Whatever this new wizard is. <laughs> I just stop going to those unregistered psychologists. I go to back alley psychologists <laughs> and they go, what's your problem? And it's so cold. <laughs> it's too cold. It's too cold. And they go uh, inside. Yeah. Usually they just stab me. No, I think that's a fun one we looked at. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, is that what happened? Uh, no, that's the end of that one. I appreciate <laughs> that. You <laughs> uh, Last week saw the release of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, a superb remaster of the PS1 classic kart racer. But does it live up to the nostalgia? Let's take a look at the trailer. Uh, so that was a look at the trailer for uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. This is this is a fun game. We so <laughs> like, you always do we have a supercar. <laughs> of how many times you go? 
This is a fun game. This is a fun game. Hey, this is a fun game. Oh. I thought this was a fun game. This it's fun. I'm gonna say it. Yes. It's fun. I thought it was pretty fun. But it's 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 fun. It's kind of fun. That's yes. a fun game. I like it. First impressions. Fun. It is pretty fun. Tekken bowling. That was fun. Huh. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, sure. Right. Yeah. Games are fun. That's true. Oh He's got me there. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun game. It's a fun game. I feel like that's interesting about games is they're supposed to be fun. But yes. Then you see like gamers and they take it so seriously mm. and intensely and they jeopardize their health and friendships and family troubles and stuff for games. It's like, I thought they're supposed to be fun. You that's know? a different yeah, that's type a of fun. fun. That's like a psychological mind fuck fun. Yeah. They're the ones that do like stadiums and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Well, it made us all think, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is fine. So, uh, you, <laughs> you are a dirty centrist, and you what? show it every day. I'm a, yeah, I'm a centrist. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 when it comes to get, uh, uh, so a few weeks ago we talked about um, Team Sonic Racing. Yes, mm. right around. Yes, Team yeah. Sonic Racing, mm. which and is a pretty similar sort of a kart race. So, which I thought was a pretty fun game. And I said it was like a two dollar shop <laughs> knockoff of Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah right. Now. I nearly said that about this one. Yeah, and this is actually from the Mario Kart era. But then Patrick era. looked at me with his big brown puppy <laughs> eyes. Where's he Patrick? He said, no. There he is. And I said, you know what, Patrick, you're right. <laughs> why, why did Patrick convince you? I feel like I also said no. <laughs> what was, why him? You got big brown puppy dog eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically, <laughs> so this is, this is a remaster of. <laughs> you got, Crazy, crazy bus stop lady. <laughs> <laughs> crazy bus stop lady. <laughs> Why are they more convincing? I feel like I would be convinced by crazy bus stop lady. I wouldn't want to mess Big with her. Big brown puppy dog, bring you in. Crazy bus stop, <laughs> push you out. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. The, uh, You're stuck with me though, too, because we're at the bus stop. We both gotta go the same way. I'm gonna get this fucking. What kind of bus stop is this? Is get it the one you can't walk away from? Or no, but you've got to get on the bus. Yeah, you're on the you bus, I've got places to be. You can stand away from the crazy lady until yeah. the bus nah, shows up. I'd be up. Run up and get it. She the hypnotizes you like the snake from <laughs> Jungle Book. I just look at I'm, I feel like if you move, <laughs> I'll know about it <laughs> with my eyes. <laughs> this is, so this is a remaster of the original. The original came out on PlayStation 1 in 1999. God bless you. <laughs> Uh, but of course, Mario Kart was a Nintendo 64 game, so you kind of, you, if you had a PlayStation, you played Crash Team <laughs> Sorry. Racing, and if you had a... It was just a very fun fact from you, of <laughs> course. <laughs> <Mario> the same <laughs> people, you know, you were, you were either a Nintendo person yeah. and you, you played Mario Kart, or you were a Sony person and you played Crash Team Racing. Or, or you were Dirty a rich Sanchez bitch and you had both. both. I didn't Did have... You, no, 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 I never had a PlayStation. Did you say Dirty one. Sanchez? Oh, what did dirty you say? Dirty centrist. You're a but dirty <laughs> Sanchez. You're a yeah. dirty Sanchez, Evan. No. No. You got <laughs> what that means. It sounds vaguely racist. <laughs> Maggie's going to tell you what a dirty Sanchez is. I don't actually think I know specifically. Come on. I, is it something about putting a finger up a bum <laughs> and then <laughs> making, the, making someone smell it after, what? during sex? Is yeah. that? Oh, it is? Okay. Yep. Can you put some graphics with that? juices involved. What? And so that's why I went at Ben and he did this. <laughs> oh, this is gross. Um, Good I double disagree. Day. <laughs> Evan, don't kink shame people. Don't oh, kink shame right. me. I'm sorry. <laughs> kink shame, that's great. I, I haven't heard that. I was... <laughs> really? So, no. We, no. We, we, I know what you're is that doing. like kinky people saying... Don't judge me for what I do. Yeah. Yeah, right. Like, we, look at the feet. Um, <laughs> we were a Nintendo 64 household, so we, we played Mario Kart. So I didn't play the original one back in the day, but you, you did, Beck. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Yes. Yes. You were a PlayStation household. Yes, we were a PlayStation household. Except, and I, now I've been disputed on this, I don't think we owned a copy of this. Oh, it was a loaner. I think we borrowed one from someone, uh -huh. and then we tried to obtain a copy through some means... You know, yeah. Yeah, right. how when you have a copy of a game and then suddenly you have two, it's very mysterious. Barley. Yeah, Barley at, <laughs> barley at my house. Barley! You know how you call Barley? The, you used to go to Barley, get all the DVDs yeah. and stuff. Mm. I used to go discs. and, because uh, I had a modded Xbox, mm. so I used to go and hire Xbox games mm. and uh, 
I used to get the games and download them onto my Xbox hard drive and then play them. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was great. That feels like a weird loophole that you can do that. Oh, it's illegal. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. I grew up with this game. I live dangerously. This is probably probably one of the only games. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Um, But this is one of the, probably the only games I've spent many, many hours playing when I was little. It's Crash Bandicoot um, Kart. Crash Kart Bandicoot? Yeah, Crash Bandicoot Kart. Yeah. Mm. Um, We had a PlayStation 1. And uh, my brother really wanted one. And shock horror, I didn't. Uh, (laughs) But he needed my pocket money to buy the PlayStation. And so we had to, mum like wrote up this huge contract (laughs) that we had to sign. And part of it was, it was like rules like, I get to play and like something like, I can never hold this against my brother and like we've still got the contract. (laughs) But I ended up up playing a lot. Remember the the big, like the big saving things, the chunky things you Mm. put in to save? Like this. Memory cards, yeah. Memory cards, yeah, yeah. Savey things. And they flash, they'd flash. I feel like this would be very nostalgic for you because at the very beginning of the game, you have to click through the Mm. service agreement for it. It's 42 pages and you have to go through it. And then it has a privacy policy. Is that like cookies? That's wild. And the privacy policy is 28 pages. Yeah. Is this normal? Uh, oh. I don't remember it happening previously, but maybe Normally it Normally you just go, yeah, tick, whatever, I agree. But you actually have you, to... It takes you through page by page, and you have to but go through the whole lot. who's hurt them? <laughs> what is the... Like, yeah. Also, with... I mean, there's there's always sort of these questions about, like, privacy agreements and shit like that. Mm. Mm. What the, the legal kind of validity to them is pretty tenuous at best. Yeah. Yeah. I accept all the cookies. I don't even know what it means. I always hit accept. What's a cookie? <laughs> a cookie means it can see you. What? So it can track you, is it? It's a piece of data it says on your computer to track you, yes. Oh. Well, why are we accepting the cookies? <laughs> because, you, well, I mean, you, I don't know. You know how your passwords <laughs> save or like an auto fills and shit? That a cookie. Yeah, right. Is that a cookie? That's that a, a cookie? cookie, isn't it? Mm. Saving logins is cookies. That's that's what yeah, I mean. Yeah. We're getting a whole lot of people on the internet going. Uh, I think you'll find. Uh, I think I'll actually I find cookies are uh, different. Like uh, cookies are different. Tyson would know. He's a web developer. They're actually yeah. they're called biscuits here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great. Okay. <laughs> Brought an end to that one. So, uh, so this was uh, originally twenty years ago. It was one of uh, Naughty Dog's earlier games. Oh really? Yeah. Crash Team Racing, the Crash Bandicoot, and that sort of thing. The Crash Bandicoot uh, remake of the the first three on PlayStation was done by another developer. Yeah, the, this remember. is not the same people as the, the Insane people. Trilogy, no. And it shows in the loading times. It's, yeah. It's nigh on Switch, which I got it on Switch, and maybe that's that's on me, really. Does everyone know what Switch is? That's the Switch there, yeah. <laughs> What do we got? We got Dirty Sanchez Cookie Switch. You're learning a lot. Oh yeah, yeah there's. A lot. It's a big, it's a big episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is our 30th episode, but it's the first time we actually have any knowledge <laughs> on the show. 30th episode, would you? 3300th. So 300th? No, it's set two years, but it's a 67th episode. I find it weird ah. you're s- celebrating the years because. Sorry, another TV television TV. show yes. that I'm working on has its 300th. Oh, wow. Oh. It's impressive, 300. I've got other jobs. <laughs> yeah, you don't just work on this show. <laughs> no. um, yeah, the loading times on this are pretty brutal. But Especially because it has to load that the sort of overworld mm. and then you drive around to actually go to a race. Yeah, and you got to do load the, again. You go into the hub, you load, you wait for ages. You go into the racing, you load, you wait for it. Uh, yeah, is it? I mean, uh, who made this game? Uh, Bioware? <laughs> <laughs> it's a reference. Ah. It's a good reference. It's a good Thank reference. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, oh, sorry. Oh, no, if, it was, if it was Bioware, then you would get kicked from the server. So <laughs> well, the online servers are having problems too. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, I read that it's it was going all right in the later version. Case closed. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You're just sitting there wanting to make gifts. This is a this dream. Do <laughs> little things. So someone on the internet will make it into a gift. Make this into a gift. Yeah, no, no, one's, okay. no one's going to make that into a gift, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you make that into a gift, I'll come find you. <laughs> and I'll, t- I'll be like... The thing, this game I remember I liked because I'm a... Uh, I, I, um, 
Noob? Noob. Uh, I liked, um, remem I remember he had an Australian accent. He was like, get yeah. out of here. No way. And stuff like that. But it was like obviously an American doing an Australian <laughs> accent. Yeah, because you got bandicoots and you also got um, like the first boss is Ripperoo, which oh, seems yeah. very, like it doesn't really fit this era of our world where mental health is an important issue and you oh. have a character. Is he the one who, in the straight jacket? Yeah, and there's a bit that said... Um, oh, I thought you were like, Ripperoo doesn't match our world because... <laughs> He can talk and <laughs> he's got a straight jacket on. Guys, I don't know if you know. Uh, this is actually really unrealistic. Uh, <laughs> bandit, this bandicoot is driving a car. <laughs> really impossible. I'm so woke that I. Can't uh, this bandicoot is bandicoots. wearing shoes, and I think that's really like not realistic. Yeah. You shouldn't put pants on an animal. It's wild. They're ripped but jeans. I don't want well. to see its bit, dick. A bit alright. <laughs> I don't imagine if he didn't have pants on, you'd see like he'd be running. <laughs> You just see his fucking massive I bandicoot. I don't think bandicoots. Fucking weapon. I don't, have, I don't think they got big wangs. I, I reckon Crash has. I guess we'll never know. That's where he gets his jumping powers. It's because he's got <laughs> the biggest he, the dick in the bandicoot kingdom. Um, I like this fan theory. Wise words from Ben Russell. <laughs> so, yes, the loading times are bad. I think they're bad on other consoles as well, not just on Switch. Um, so I think they should they should fix that. Um, yeah, mm. but despite that, it is actually pretty zippy on Switch. It's all right. When, it plays once fine. It, once it goes, it's fine. And it's, I can, it's quite pixely. I like the loading times because then I sort of just sit and disassociate from your body. Like, yeah, I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> you walk the astral plane. <laughs> just yelling about Bandicoot pants. Yeah, I'd give up if the loading. I was dreaming. <laughs> so lo loading times, meaning yeah. like every time you want to do something, it makes you wait. Well, it, does, yeah. it yeah. loads. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was sleeping and Beck came and yelled at me in a dream and I was like, oh, she must be waiting for the loading screen and she's walking the astral yeah, plane. Yeah, if you do she's see in the me. Dream in the dreamland. If, you, if I'm in your nightmares, I'll, I'll go in about 40 seconds. Yeah. I just wander in. It's yeah. cameos, brief cameos. Remember, if you load in the, in the dream, you load in real life. So I was talking to Evan yesterday and really? he's, huh. his favourite uh, character... Disney character is Andy from Toy Story. Mm. Yes. And I've thought about this for the last 20 hours <laughs> because it's not a character. It's a cameo. It's, mm. not, it's not even close to it's being a, a character. He's like an enabler. He's, he's a, got a name. I'd like Evan to is a cameo in his own life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Does everyone else think Andy's a Toy Story character? I think he's a character. He's not it's in the new ones, is he? No. I haven't seen the new Toy Story, but I'm hoping he's in it. <laughs> Evan's just all back he... on. Oh, my God. Someone tweeted at me yesterday and said that um, I asked if I was looking forward to Toy Story 4 because of... See what it is. Well, they must have is he not it. in it? He gives the toys away at the yeah. end of Sto Toy Story 3. Oh, Spoiler. I forgot alert. about this. Do you know what, actually? I haven't watched 3 recently. Oh, I my God. Too. If that... If that trilogy, that trilogy was Andy's story, wasn't it? Because then it ended. Yep. So and maybe is, Evan is smarter than Maybe he's back in it, though. No. Don't they want to go back and find Andy? No. Oh. He's a grown man. Evan's <laughs> Imagine a grown man playing with toys. No, don't kink shame Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Andy just is this massive neck beard. Just. <laughs> yeah, why not? Evan's just sitting there going, when you're watching Toy Story, you're like, Get off the screen, Buzz Lightyear. What's Andy? Where's, up to? What's Andy? Where is he? Where what does Andy think about a, stuff? It's a great film. Andy has his birthday, he gets a new toy. His old toy. <laughs> we know the plot of Toy Story, Evan. <laughs> but his old toy goes missing and then is back again. <laughs> That's not even the plot of Toy Story. Nowhere near the being the plot of Toy Story. <laughs> and you've not only not known the yes, plot of is. your favourite film, you've picked it's a character that doesn't. Isn't even a character. But he thinks Woody's gone. But and Evan, not. It's no, like saying story. my favorite part's the bed. My favorite, my what? favorite character in Toy Story is the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Love the bed. bed. Or oh, the bed. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> the same. Uh, no, the bed doesn't talk though at any point. The you bed doesn't have that. a name. Yeah, no, you don't know that. Not in Pixar's next show, <laughs> Beds. <laughs> <laughs> Where the with, whole world is beds. With a Z. It's got to have yeah. beds. 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 I'd watch beds. Oh, yeah, I'd watch that. That would, no, that'd be. If beds could talk. Oh, Who's the king? Uh, what if it was an adult's, an adult's version, like an adult Pixar film about beds? Beds. Who do, where do the beds fuck? <laughs> How? That's In well. people. 
<laughs> on people? Is that what you're On people, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beds have sex. <laughs> Beds fuck on people. They got fashion, doona yeah. covers and stuff. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. They change clothes, the people's clothes. I'd you love know, to see them. Probably not as often as they should. Oh, some of them sit on the road for ages and get real wet. I'd love to see a movie poster for beds if anyone's getting creative out there. Yeah, mm. all right. That's no, Evan is. This is, what, this is what Xavier <laughs> did every time last time when I was on. He was like, he just threw it to the audience to try and get some content. <laughs> <laughs> audience. Um, Xavier Michaelides. Oh, Xavier Michaelides. Um, to quote uh, a great man. This game's good. I think it's. I think it's fun. I think this. Uh, in the end, um, mm. I tell you what. I'm not looking forward to the uh, the game itself, but the ninety dollar official incense burner. Thank you. Hang on. Wait, what? wait, wait. Yes. What's There's this? an official incense burner. It's shaped like Crash Bandicoot on a cart. Wow. Yeah. I, that's, a, that's an interesting bit of. Mm. Um, I should have gotten one of those. I'd like I don't to think it's out yet. Yeah. I think it's up for pre order. I actually would uh, buy that. Games, the games are more expensive mm. even when they're on sale. <laughs> but <laughs> Which is all the time. We got fucking incense burners. Hell yeah. I was watching a video today of um, these elephants. There's a big one and then there's a little one and then a squirrel shows up. Have you seen that? No. And they freak out and they run inside and the squirrel wins. Um... What a great story. <laughs> so as someone who is anticipating this game, has it has it paid off for you? I don't know yet. I, I've played through a lot of it. I think... <laughs> Can someone animate Maggie's little story too? I know it exists on the internet, but I feel like it would be better with your narration. Let's get some content going. Content. I you know we're asking a lot of the audience this week. You we ask a lot of the audience <laughs> every week. Just <laughs> stop what they're doing <laughs> and watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your time. I think that's the biggest part of respect. That's us thanking you for watching, is to cut the length down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it's, it is very fun. And I think it's great, it's more challenging than Mario Kart, and I like that, but also I don't like that because I'm like, why aren't I winning? Just turn the difficulty down. I <laughs> would never buy this game. <laughs> never? No. We don't buy any games, really, do you? We get them for free. <laughs> <laughs> I buy games. I bought Anno, I've been playing Anno 1800. Yeah, that's what you talk about now. Yeah. It looks nice. It's very fun. I reckon it's my game of the year so far, considering oh, we haven't mm. had any game of the year games come out. Really. Game of the year? What about Rage 2? <laughs> Evan finished that. You I did finish joke, it. But Evan you never finished any game. <laughs> yeah. I don't finish any And you finished finish Rage 2. <laughs> yeah. Um, my friend Pedro has just launched oh. on PC and Nintendo Switch. Uh, it is self. Sorry. Yes. Just really quickly. Uh, just the final verdict for this game is this game fun? Crash Team Racing? Yeah. yeah it's a fun game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my friend Pedro Please is uh, kill me. described as a, a violent ballet about friendship, imagination, and one man's struggle to obliterate anyone in his path at the behest of a sentient banana. Let's take a look at the trailer. You're expected to rise by 69 degrees. <laughs> So, for today's recipe, you'll first need a well-sharpened knife, but also a big frying pan. Let it cook over an open fire. So that was a look at the trailer for My Friend Pedro. It's a pretty cool trailer. Yeah, it's a great trailer. It doesn't show any gameplay, doesn't it? It's just like, it's just a cool trailer. But they're the best trailers of all. <laughs> <laughs> I like, tra I like trailers that actually show you what the game looks nah. like, but it's still a cool trailer. Nah. Um, this is a fun game. It's a surprisingly like deep and like fun game. It's, it, You're right, it is a fun <laughs> game! It's a fun yeah. game! We did it already! Yeah. 
Yeah. Damn it. It's a fucking great game. <laughs> and I was not expecting, like, all, when it was sort of shown on E3, I was like, eh, uh, oh. Uh. But then I played it, I was like, oh. Yeah, it looks like it could easily not be good. Yeah. Um, That's a good the, review system. The reason why it <laughs> is good is because it is like a well-oiled machine. Mm. Everything is just so smooth from like the animation yeah. to the contr the controls are so intuitive and so good. You know, I actually found the controls, although they're good, took a bit of getting used to. Yeah, I mean, they take a bit of getting used to, but isn't that all <laughs> new games? Probably, yes. Nah, yeah. some <laughs> games you just like press A. Yeah, COD. COD, <laughs> oh, these games, controls are different than COD. Uh, one star. <laughs> I could not look down any iron sights or kill any dogs. <laughs> you know, I really like iron sights. No shit. <laughs> I went to oh. Ironside. That was my primary school. That's cool. Uh, Michael yeah. Ironside? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Michael Ironside. Um, this goof's too layered. It's like a lasagna. We've got to get out. <laughs> we got to go to the moon. It, so it's, 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 the whole game is on a, a 2D plane. It's, it's true. kind of like a platformer, and it's got platformy elements in it as well. Very much so. Um, I would say that it is a platformer. Yeah, yeah. but it's a much more shooty than most platformers. Yes. Mm. You get bullet time, you yes, can dodge weapons, motion. you can do great karate kicks. Yeah, I love going in slow motion to see how bad I am at a game. <laughs> you can really see how terrible you are. You hit shift and suddenly it's like, oh fuck, did not aim that right, fuck, fuck. Oop. <laughs> The shooting feels really good. The animation for the shooting and how it feels when you shoot is great. Yeah, and the sound design's great too. Yeah. Like it, the, the the guns sound great, and the music's good too. It gives it a nice sort of a vibe. It seems like a stunt person has been involved in this because it feels like it's so choreographed. Like it's hard to do something that uh, feels bad, which is good, yeah. but also a bit of it feels like it's a little raily. Like like. It, it, it's hard to fuck up, but then at the same time, when you do fuck up at the end, it's like you got a C and you suck. So that's kind of nice. It's hard, yeah. It's hard to like die, mm. but it's hard to do really well. Like you have yeah. to really sort of string stuff. That's together. life. Yeah. No, it's to not die. hard to die. It's hard quite to easy do to really die, well. Actually, yeah. This is, but this is quite forgiving. Like, yeah. You get shot a bunch of times, your health goes down, and it's like, hey, you should probably uh, yeah. dodge those bullets. But I like <laughs> that because it gives you just a chance. I think a lot of these sort of platformers uh, punish you too much and don't allow you to get into that nice flow mm. and enjoy the game. Whereas this kind of the combat, like you need to get into a flow. So it kind of lets you get into more of a sort of run of it. Mm. I'm still stuck on it. you saying it's easy to die. What? I reckon it's quite hard to die in it's life. Easy to die. No. Ah. People, people die all the people time. People die all the time. Like accidental, yeah, but you really got to put some effort in. No, you can. <laughs> I can die. Like, t t I could die right now. <laughs> yeah. What? I could die crossing the street after this. I could. Yeah. I could have cancer in my body right now, eating away. <laughs> Eating away. But I don't think that's easy. Like, I think there's no, some things that have gone into that. Yeah, but it's Like, you had to build to on that for that. Hard to unget. Um, easy to die. So there's a banana named Pedro. Disease. Yeah. Uh, plane crashes. <coughs> uh, They're not easy things, Master though. Chef. <laughs> accidentally All these things can kill you. On oh, Master Chef, you just accidentally cut your fingers off Drugs. until you bleed out. Alcohol. The moment you get into a car, <laughs> you are taking your life in your hands. Yes. That, mm, uh, not every like if it was that easy, then everyone would just be dropping. People do. <coughs> More people die every day than are alive. Mm. No, no, that can't be right. <laughs> this so okay. So the it's it's there's a banana named Pedro. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> that talks at you. It's it's it's, oh. it's got a, a uh -huh. the game has a good sense of humor. It's pretty weird. It's pretty out there. Oh, I kind the of, bananas, um, Pedro. Yeah, the bananas, mm. Pedro. Yeah, mm. I kind of I feel like they could have given Pedro a voice that it doesn't. He just got a with text on the screen. Yeah, it should have the voice from the trailer. Yeah, I feel like it could have. Yeah, it could have. They, uh, I, I don't know if that's just like a, a cost cutting thing or something, but I feel like it would have been really fun to have a have someone voice that I, character. I thought this was a um, Napoleon Dynamite 
game. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Napoleon Dynamite. Like a dance sort of simulator. That would be good. Well, yeah, because his, feed a llama. his friend was called oh. Pedro. Pedro? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, that's all Why isn't there a Napoleon Dynamite game? I'm sure there is. Really? I watched it the other day. Great film. It's yeah. a still really, good? Oh, is it really good? Yeah, it really checks out still. I really like Tina. it. Tina! Tina, get some ham. Yeah, I had a, I had a vote for Pedro T-shirt. Surprise, yeah. yeah, yeah Surprise was, was selling those bitches. Stop, stop, that and stop. I love the OC. I miss this. Um, fun fact, The Hills is coming back. Finally. Thank you found God, it. all right. <laughs> you found it out of gamey, gamey game. <laughs> <laughs> what a scoop. <laughs> Can we cross um, the Maggie with the reality show news? What else you got? Hills is coming back, but guess who's in The Hills this time? Who? Guess. We played this Children of the corn? No. Misha Barton from the OC. What? It's a crossover. Love that. Yeah. Oh. But it wasn't like the OC sort of like, that had Hills vibes. Yeah, it was like based on the Hills, but she's going back to, it's like, it's like being in like Jurassic Park and no. Doesn't she have, like, didn't she have some trouble <laughs> with her mental health? Yeah, she's a bit crook. Like, I don't. Uh, well, so we're going to exploit her. <laughs> we're going to exploit her. Nice. Oh, God. But That's the way we do it. This game, it's it's better than I thought it would be. Oh, I thought it yeah. was as good it's, as I thought it would be. I thought it was interesting that interesting that it's out on PC and Switch. I feel like a lot of games, if it's going to be out on PC and then it's also going to be out on a console, the console would be Xbox because I feel like, I guess because they're easier to cross Microsoft. develop for. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this isn't available on Xbox or PlayStation 4. It's available on just on Switch and PC. We So we played on PC. I'd, I'd, Imagine it would be pretty good on Switch. Yeah. I wish it was. Yeah, I would have preferred a controller. This feels like a controller-y game. Well, I don't know. I've and it's pretty simple graphics, so I feel like it wouldn't take too much of a hit either. Mm. So yeah. Even it's not a controller game. It's on, it's on a keyboard. Yeah, you go. Yeah, mouse and keyboard. Yeah, mouse and keyboard. Yeah. And it's like, it's always going, press W to dodge the bullets. I'm like, I know. I'm just not doing it. Yeah. I appreciate I just the reminder. can't press it. Mm. Can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Just let me jump. I yeah. like how casual roll, it roll. is. Like, you can kind of just kind of pick it up and yeah. do a level real quick. The yeah, the level's quick. not very long right they yeah so they go through pretty quick it's nice and casual but you can i can imagine getting pretty good at it and you'd mm. be able to get an a and string together a bunch of well, cause combos and it's got like a share oh. this thing button and if yeah, i shared and it that's cool it's that's cool cute. it's cool it's cool <laughs> who's this what is this what is to share this you go you can share it to your social media oh that's fun yeah, so the sure. ostracized by all your friends <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys are all friends. What are you talking about? You'd be congratulated. Oh, look at this, everybody. Computer <laughs> game. Um, have you ever used the share button on your PlayStation controller? No, no. I've yeah, taken right. some screenies. Oh, yeah? I've done that a lot by accident on Switch. Yeah. I, I've taken a bunch of screenshots of the service agreement for um, Crash Bandicoot just in case. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. It I was like, it yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden they go, we got your day and you go, uh-uh, didn't agree to that one. Oh, Becky, Becky Boo. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I feel like it's got a bit of replayability there. Like you, well, I think whenever I played a level, I was like, I, now that I've done it once, I feel like I could do this a lot better if I did it again. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm just going to play through it all and then probably go back. Because it's one of those ones that has a nice replayability and you can kind of, I don't know, it's quick. It's quick and cash. See, yeah. I feel like I wouldn't replay it because I'd be like, I'll just fuck it up again. <laughs> well, it's quite fun. Like it's you can fun. Flip yeah. in between bullet but time. But I, I think there's fun in just what's coming up. Like mm. going up to a door and going, "Oh, I see a guy." And, <laughs> and they do a good job of introducing new elements, sort of. Yeah, mm. gradually. Pretty, yeah. pretty consistently. Too. Yeah, yeah. And in a, in a like you get a skateboard in that one. I haven't even got up to the skateboard. Huh. Um, but you can swing and you can. You know, kick basketballs at people. Who are you trying to rescue? Fun. Is there someone at the end? You're trying to get out. I okay. Believe. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. You're trying to get some potassium. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I think it's a nice idea. <laughs> 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 it's nicely priced as well. It's like it's under twenty five dollars on Steam uh, for PC. That's it's very good cheaper value. On the Nintendo Store, which never. It never happens. <laughs> yeah. How do how do people make any money if they're selling these things for twenty dollars? Because oh, people oh. like us talk about them, and then a lot of people buy it because uh. we talked about it and said nice things. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Is that how it works. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Um, you know, are you saying that you're an influencer? <laughs> you're a bad influencer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad influencer. Why'd you look at me then, Ben? Because <laughs> I like looking and checking in with everyone. <laughs> um, maybe we should wrap it up. Let's do. We've got a we've got a Patreon question. 
Oh, Patron. The highest vote of Patreon question this week was from Seymour Bar... I don't think that's his real name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, <laughs> I like Seymour. You're great. Um, Seymour Butts. Question Baby is... Seymour. <laughs> oh, no. How far along is Evan in his dog murderholic anonymous program? Have any of the other panelists ever participated in a 12-step? <laughs> what was your strange addiction? Oh, I don't know what the first question about the dog murderholic. Uh, I'm Evan loves to <laughs> murder dogs. Yes. And he's hidden dead boys. <laughs> All no. Yeah, yeah, right. Someone wrote more lyrics for the song about the dogs in the wall. Yeah. Um, I'll get that to we'll release that as a, as a single. <laughs> it's a single. It's is, coming to your heart. It's a 12 step. Is that a dance? No, that's a. No, it's an AA. Oh. It's a 12 step yeah. pro- uh, program. I'm not seeking any help. What's your Well, strength? you fucking should. <laughs> uh, I'm addicted to the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Oh. I'm addicted to the bass. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm addicted to the place. Yeah. Hmm. I'm addicted to the mace. Ah. I'm addicted like the spray to mace without a trace. The show? Oh. Is that a show? Yeah, big time. <laughs> mm, Here they go. go. <laughs> now that was a good show. Oh, it was. Awesome. I loved without a trace. Mm. Anthony LaPaglia. I can sing the song. He's in Frasier. I used to watch a lot like of Without a Trace. Like you think what? Anthony LaPaglia is in Frasier? Yeah, he is at some Yeah, point. he is in Frasier. He is. Evan, in Frasier. Evan actually does have a Frasier addiction. This is actually a good point to bring this up. There you go. Well, that's that's okay. Frasier. Because I have, I know that he's in Frasier because Evan has watched that episode. I like Frasier, okay? Do you guys have any addictions that you need to sort out? Fan fiction. No, I've got to stop. <laughs> I don't yeah, know why no. I'm back on it. I got guys, no get me out of it. <laughs> Would you ever... <laughs> this, this is you trying to solve an addiction, is what this is. From Siggy Durries, Punch yeah, and Durries. Your... It's not a 12-step program. Yeah, this is a but it's a, it's a twelve puff program. <laughs> but is there? But but do you do you plan on getting off the uh, <laughs> off the nicotine? Um, I'm enjoying vaping. I like the vape life. I like its culture. I like the community around vaping. <laughs> really? It's just uh, so much cool you're good vape when community. you're around. Yeah, like you can yeah. go around, you can swap swords and shit like that. And mm. Swap he's, uh, swords. He's a vape lord. I'm the steam duchess. Um, I deserve more. <coughs> uh, if you would like to ask a question <laughs> on the channel. Like I think I was scared that I'd already said it earlier in the show. <laughs> you said it before the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you'd like to ask a question or uh, or vote on which question we answer on the show, jump on the ten dollar Patreon tier. I'm addicted to love, and um, <laughs> we have to thank our I'm top patrons. To, I'm addicted um, to uh, going fast. What? I'm addicted to fast. Okay, mate. Sonic. I'm addicted to uh, the spotlight. <laughs> I'm <laughs> addicted to Evans Musk. Hmm. I, think, I think this bit has got me off comedy. <laughs> I was addicted. Uh, now I'm like, don't want it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, checks in the mail. <laughs> big thanks to my top patrons, Alex, uh, Alexander Chomowitz. We should just say Alex Chomowitz. Anyway. Jake Sullivan, Drew Schiller, Grace Jarvis, Jack Mufati, Drew Peisner, Jim Hughes, Kylie Jones, Zach Steinbacker, Scott Chapman, Shemeth Woodgeratney, Christian Ford, Christian, Christian Sanchez, Sanchez. Christian Sanchez. Sanchez. Are they the dirty Sanchez's? Yeah, they're the two dirty. They're the dirtiest Sanchai. <laughs> Sanchai. Uh, Josh Apter, the Paul Barbie, Jake Robertson, Sorry. Ben Lovett, Adam Jebatista, oh. Chris Cheeky, and Lachlan Chapman. Uh, if you want to add your name to that list, uh, you can go to the uh, Patreon and you can uh, go to the twenty dollars Patreon tier um, at, uh, at gamygamegamygame.com slash Patreon or gamey no Patreon the other one. Um, and you get a mug as well at that tier. Uh, and if you uh, if you enjoy the show, you can subscribe to it. <laughs> And tell your friends about Evan, it. Evan, just breathe. <laughs> What's happened? And share it. We've got to, uh, uh, been doing this for two years. Oh, no. Uh. Uh-oh. And remember, uh, you can also podcast the show. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. Oh. Podcast app I'm addicted to chocolate. Mm. Record promo. Um, chocoholic. God bless you. Good night. Hang and on. good luck. I'm Ben Russell. And this is Gummy Gummy Gum. <laughs> Take care of each other and also one another. Because sometimes... It's tough out there, and it's very easy to die in this world. And that's something. There, are, as we know, there are more dead deaths than there are people in the world. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we were still going. <laughs> <laughs>